and winter weather becomes possible over the coming days, the weather could affect your car. Meteorologist Corey Smith goes over how these conditions can cause issues as you head out on the road. The cold weather has arrived here in Acadiana and as you go throughout the coming days, even colder weather possible, even the possibility of some wintry weather. I talked to local experts about how this could impact not only your car, but your commute. When the temperatures fall, driving becomes more difficult, whether that is the actual commute or even getting your car to start. But what is the number one issue that most people see? Tire pressure or tire lights. And everyone thinks that they have a flat tire and really it's just like two pounds low. Um, that's the most common thing. Tim Bernard, a manager at a mechanic shop in Lafayette, says that amongst the more common issues, frozen windshield wiper fluid and the lack of antifreeze are also things that could cause issues as temperatures go into the 20s and teens. He also says that when it comes to ice, there are some misconceptions on how to get it off of your car. You know, a lot of people use a defrost. It is better to use cold water. Do not use hot water on your windshield or any glass. Um, another un or another common thing is the wiper blades. People try to use that when they have ice stuck, and that just kind of destroys the wiper blades, the rubber on the wiper blades. When it comes to driving, not all winter conditions are equal. And Lisa Cochran, a local driver instructor, says that the upcoming weather could be particularly dangerous. Well, right now, what we're looking at is precipitation, then freezing temperatures, which is one of the most dangerous things that can happen, right? If it snows, you can see that. If it rains and then freezes, you can't see that. When roads become icy, it is easy to lose control and begin to spin your vehicle. Driving carefully and knowing what to do if you begin to spin is very important. Lower your speed at least, at least 10 mile an hour below the speed limit. What you don't want to do is freak out and then everybody's going to do that. And you don't want to, you know, press that brake too hard because you're going to continue to spin in either or direction or move straight ahead. Let off the accelerator and actually tap it. That will bring you back into line. The main takeaway, well, take the correct precautions if you do need to head out as temperatures fall and the possible winter weather moves in. From Lafayette, I'm Storm Track 15 meteorologist Corey Smith.